Hey guys, it's Ellie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I obviously just took a nap. My eyes red because I slept in my contacts for three hours. <laughs> Don't do that. I wanted to do a little look. Uh, I kind of want to do a look inspired by my sweater. This is, oh, oh goodness, I'm falling. This is like the sweater I'm wearing. This is from Target. Um, and then I have like some little pajama shorts on, but it's like this little like pink cardigan. So I wanted to do a look um, that kind of matches it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just want to do a look with it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to do a look inspired by my sweater. Um, and so if you guys want to see me do that, then keep on watching. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using the 4th Ray Watermelon um, Face Milk. I really like this, and it matches my sweater, kind of. They're like different shades of pink, but you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it because it is pink. I need to move my camera over a little bit. What I like about the face milks is you really don't need a lot. And because I already have really dewy skin, naturally, I need even a little. So, what is my hair doing? Okay, like you can see when I blend out, it's like more like wet than creamy, which I like. My skin is turning red, but we already know my skin is sensitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Kush foundation. This is an N2. <laughs> it's, it's like a foundation and it has like a little cushion in it. I'm going to be going in with this flat, um, not kabuki brush. It's not a kabuki brush, it's just like a flat top um, brush. And I'm going to use it for foundation. So I'm going to like just stick it in there like that. And I'm going to focus. And I'm going to start building the coverage. And also my freckles show through, which I, I like. And I haven't been out in the sun a while, so they are kind of hiding away. So... Now that we are done with foundation, I'm going to move on to concealer. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. It has this like super little, tiny little um, applicator thing. I'm going to grab my Eco Tools sponge and I'm going to start blending out the concealer. I'm going to go on my chin first. And look, that was not blend out so fast and so easily. I'll go under my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing some cream contour. So I'm going to be taking this ColorGirl foundation in 870. I like to use this for cream contour or thick freckles, which I might do both of. And I'm going to grab my eye brushes and I like to use this flat brush. This is from Ulta actually, it's like an eyeshadow brush. Okay. Okay, the bad thing about this is whenever I do this, my whole nose turns like brown, which is not what I'm going for, but if my nose was like this shape, I'd be so happy, but it's not, and that's okay, because I will love all of my features. Stuck with them, so I might as well just accept them. So, this is not blending out because I waited too long. Um, I'm literally like hitting my face. I need to be more gentle. Whenever I'm like blending out anything, I'm always like hitting my face. Like I'm so, I'm so harsh. Oh, that is, we can fix it with powder. I just, whenever I go, <laughs> okay, so I just finished out blend, I, I just finished blending out my contour. My sister came in my room looking for her tripod. <laughs> And I'm using it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna be taking this um this brush. I love it because it has like a thick handle to it. <clears throat> it's really nice. I got it from Hobby Lobby and it's like a super defined brush. It's like a paintbrush, but it's like really nice quality. And so I like to use this for graphic liner or 
I like to use this for freckles a lot. So I will just grab my foundation and what I like about it is because it's a foundation, I can tap it and move it around like that freck stuff, but this is not $20 for like 0.2 ounces or something. Like that thing is literally, so it's literally like this tiny. And it's like, why are my hands like, I'm like, yeah, that Freck stuff, I was like, ooh, I want that. But then I found out that I can do this for cheaper, and I honestly think it looks better. Yeah, they really scamming people because that little thing is literally $20, and it's so, it's so tiny. And so you run out of it at like, after you're like six use or something, obviously not. But uh, there are so many other things that you can do like this. So now I have some little freckles, looking cute. So they look a little crazy at the moment, but we're going to bake, which will um, kind of tone them down, down a bit. So I'm just patting this powder underneath my eyes. And then underneath my nose is like where I get really like dark spots. Not dark spots, but like I have like a shadow. I totally forgot to film everything else on my camera because I was so focused on it doing it here okay so now that we have this i'm going to bronze with my butter bronzer i'm going to take this little angled brush and i'm just going to very messily just do that Ooh, my nose looks so good and then i still have kind of powder down here okay i kind of want to play some music but i don't want to get copyrighted well in my description i always put that i don't own any of the music and then I'm usually fine. So I will do that. So I will play some music for you guys. Doing the blush. So I don't, cause I won't fall in. What if we lose again? No. Okay, I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the bye bye under eye concealer you already know um no you don't i've literally done this like once Blend it out. I'm gonna be going in with these browns on the outer part of my eye. So we have this. So this this brown is kind of like the buttons on my on my shirt. Kind of cute. Okay, so we have both of the eyes looking very cute. And now I'm going to cut my crease and put a like baby pink color that's kind of like this color on the lid so i'm going to be taking my wet n wild flat cons concealer um brush i'm going to be taking some concealer and i'm going to cut my crease on the inner parts Okay, I'm actually gonna make the cut creases a little bigger. Okay, so I made them a little bigger how I normally make them and I'm going to blend them out with my finger. Okay, so now I finished the cut crease and I'm going to take some more brown and I'm going to blend out the edge. So now that we have that, let me find a baby paint color that I have. Okay, so I found this color. I'm pretty sure it's going to be too light. So I'm going to use that first. This is from a Makeup Revolution palette, um, Life of the Dance Floor. Oh, that's <laughs> off. Okay, so 
Okay, so I just came back from dinner. I'm gonna go in with this loose pigment right here. This is from Lenny. I'm not sure what the brand is, but this is in Byron Bay. Again, I'm not completely sure, but I've used this before and it's so pretty. I don't know if it'll work as well because it's on like a eyeshadow. I already have eyeshadow on, but Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Okay, that's really pretty. And it kind of brought more pink into it. So that's also a good thing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do some graphic liner to bring more pink into it. And I'm just going to take my little brush. So I like to use nail brushes because they have like super, super tiny little brush thing. And so I'm just going to use this okay so this is the color this is the color of the hair i'm going to be using and these are probably going to be uneven because the cut creases aren't even um but you know let's we'll start with my right eye first let's we'll start on the outside okay so that is the rough draft of that I'm going to do it on the other side. That is the line I have, and then I'm going to make it a little thicker and clean it up a bit, and then I will be right back. Cute. Okay, so I just cleaned up the lines and I kind of am glad that I did that because now it matches my sweater even more um, because there's more pink in it. So, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to curl my lashes. Too Faced Mascara. Lower lash line. Woke up at late time. Where we going? Selling all your waistline. Where we going? We spent last night tripping up the days and lost in time. We got a spaceship. Ardell Wispies for lashes. Pro Beauty eyelash glue. From the pool to the bathtub, you will know that you are. Oh, I just wanna see. I just want to see those promises that I desire. Ooh, cute. I can't have what I want, neither can you. Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I have some lashes on. Looking cute. I kind of want to use this. It's like half lipstick and then half like a gloss um my best friend gave this to me and i really like the color of it so i think i'm gonna use this overline slightly because um you already know i'm about that life that overlining Ooh, like look at that look at my top lip oh, 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 you want my boyfriend you want my boyfriend why am I so low on the camera? I'm just going to spray my face. Five spritz. Always. Look how good my skin looks. Like the freckles and the blush. Look how look how cute I look like in the camera. Ooh. I'm going to pose and while I'm doing that, I'm going to play some music. You like New York City in the daytime. I like New York City in the nighttime. Do you I know? Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this video, comment down below any videos you guys want to see for me next, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.